welcome back to the channel everyone I um, yesterday I went to a pallet auction I bought 10 pallets my total buyers premium and, and all the, the hundred you know I don't know what I'm saying here my total with the buyers premium was one thousand five hundred and forty dollars for 10 pallets so pretty good um, normally at a pallet auction you can do much better than you can just go in and buy the pallets from a pallet dealer um, but we're here now buildings over there I'm about to go in there um, get them start bringing them out on the forklift and load them up and we will show you later on what I got for um, $1,540 like I said so that averages out to you know about $150 just a hair over $150 a pallet that's pretty good because you're not gonna go to many pallet places and see many pallets at all for um, $150 you're normally gonna be like three four hundred dollars you know th three four hundred dollars and up obviously it depends on what it what it is but very few pallets at pallet dealers for 150 dollars so definitely come out a little bit better at the auction but we'll see what we got all right we're back at the store here and um keith's joined me he met me over here to help unload this i got all the pallets some of them i kind of hand stacked on but all the pallets here on the truck we're about to unload look at this one right here full of wrapping paper and it's really nice wrapping paper like the big thick rolls not just you know some of them you get and there's like it seems like you can only wrap just a couple presents and it's all gone but um six dollars a piece was the retail price there's about 200 on there and i paid 125 so if i can get two dollars a piece that'll be i'll be doing good right there probably gonna start them at 250 if it gets closer to christmas and i have a lot left i'll start dropping it down to two dollars or something like that we got rugs here keeps um keeps breaking that one in right there I'm just kidding hold on hold on I'll help you. and I'm just going to kind of show you a few of the things right here toward this end we got a bunch of these pop it bracelets for some reason kids love these things right now but a whole bunch of them probably a couple hundred of these this whole pallet right here it's all the same thing but I got it really cheap it's just these little decorative plants here this is target stuff I bet you these things you have right there. $15 is what Target's regular price was. And there's, let's see, there's four of them in a box. One, two, three, six times one, two, three, four. So 24 boxes times four was that 96. So 96 of them I paid, I think I get this pallet for 50 bucks. So I could sell them for a dollar a piece. I'll, like I said, I'll start a little bit higher than that and go. Um, they can see lots more stuff. Those are all hand wipes. Little packages of, um, like you see the green one there, the little lid pops open and you got hand wipes like um, hand sanitizer on them. And there's a ton of those because there's 24 in every box and there's a bunch, there's probably, there might be a thousand of those there. I don't know, I haven't counted that. Those are all pads, pulleys pads. And then back there, there's a couple mixed pallets. There's an Amazon pallet. There's a tool pallet, like a Home Depot one. There is, oh, I got a pallet of bleach. And then there was another Target pallet. I just kind of hand stacked it, though, all those boxes you see up top. A couple of toys, some clothes, some other odds and ends, some uh, sheet sets. So kind of just a mix of stuff. Like I said, there, there's one Amazon, which is all mixed. I don't even know, you know, all different stuff on it. But we're about to pick this pallet. We had to pick the pallet jack up and set it there. Cause I was kind of in a weird spot when they were loading up and then we'll start unloading these things. It was kind of right, but we started to pull it off. So, um, you think we should go get some wrap and put it back on so it don't fall off? Yeah, let's do that. Cause like I said, I was going to take it off. So we kind of pulled some of it off and then realized it was the box was going to fall apart. Yeah, the whole thing will tip over on us when we come down. <laughs> you better run, because when this starts coming, I'm flying that way, and I can't stop. <laughs> Ready? 
Now don't push the wrap of it so hard that you the box is busted. <laughs> Watch your foot. Uh, so, started. This is a good one. Okay. Uh, yeah. That didn't work. It immediately just. Usually the front doesn't get stuck. It usually gets stuck somewhere in the middle. Might be a two by four. I don't know. I don't know if this pallet. This pallet might be a little bit thicker. So it's kind of catch right there. I mean, I'm all the way up, I think. Right there, I'm all, it won't go no higher. Let's try pushing the bottom of my foot. There we go. <laughs> you pushed me, go! <laughs> You're supposed to jump on and ride down. Come on. Try them. We got that dresser right here. Oh, okay. I think it was right there. They didn't take the mirror. Well, back they just didn't want it. Like, like girls helping you carry it out. I know. I kind of was like, you don't even help because she was taller than he was. I think. Couldn't Girl, put it there, but I think. How did you get it? Well, it was I found finally found one in advance. I didn't have to move around and all of a sudden I went out to the parkway and things like that. And um, I picked the advance and they said that they, I picked would be advance here in Dallas, Hiram. They said that the store out there at Bankhead and uh, 278 had one, so I went there. and then like a $25 sports charge or something. I was just like a couple dollars. We have all the pallets unloaded off of the truck now. I'm going to kind of show you. We got tons of these poppet bracelets. I said I paid $75 for all those. I threw in these balloons too, but the poppet br bracelets, I mean, I don't know how many are, but a couple bucks a piece should be able to get for those. And the hand wipes. There's more down there. We had to take the top layer off. There's a ton of these things. See, 24 packs. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times 24. What does that come up to? Let's see, nine times 20, that'd be 180. Four times nine, 36. So there is 216. 216. Then right there, 432. Five, six, seven, eight. So there's over a thousand of those right there. So these were, it's. I think this pallet was one hundred and fifty dollars. There's over a thousand of them. So you know, you can sell them for fifty cent a piece and still come out really good. Come over here. Okay, this is all poise pads. This is. This was full all the way to the top. We've already taken a few. It was full all the way up to here. We've already taken a few up and ends up there pricing them now. Some of the boxes are smashed. Some of them aren't, but they're still brand new. There's a lot of these right here. And these retail for, at Walmart for like 13 and some change. So we're going to put $5 on them. That's still really cheap for the customer and put this at a point to make money. And if we come over here, this is like a Lowe's or Home Depot type pallet right here. You got lamps lights we get the drain weasel we get some probably this stuff doesn't work on the milwaukee it's loose in here but i don't know what to see just all kinds of stuff like that this is an amazon palette i've already started pulling some stuff off there i'm going to show you some of that stuff here in just a minute um over here we get some like new clothing and stuff like that and some new toys 
like these little purses right here look retail thirty dollars and there's one two three four six of them things but lots of clothes some of this might have to hold this till summertime it's be kind of hard to sell right now and these two little shorts but we got sheet sets see, these are whole whole entire sheet sets let's see that's a uh, I don't know. Those are from Target. The whole entire brand new sheet set. Plus some toys. And then if we come over here. We've got the wrapping paper. $2.50 per roll. There was about $200. We've already sold a few. Like I said, this one cost $125. So that's definitely a money maker. Right here, the rugs. We counted them out. There's 96 rugs. So I paid $50 for them at $2.50. So it would be about $250 there. The bleach, there's actually more of this bleach over here. And let's see, I can't remember the exact math on these, but we're doing $2.50 a jug. It's the Clorox Healthcare Bleach Germicidal Cleaner. Um, but basically the math, I about double the money is what that one figured up to. And then on the this palette right here, this was $50 on these little potted plants. There's almost a hundred of these. So at $2.50, that's gonna put you, you know, about $250 on a $50 buy. So all the pallets, if you do the math, even selling this stuff cheap, you know, they're making money. Especially the ones that have all the same items, you can quickly do the math. These right here, you know, you can't sit here and just add it up right on your head because the prices are gonna be all over the place but we're about to pull some of this out and see Let's dig into this amazon mixed palette see what else we can find here already found some good stuff but let's see you get some really weird stuff on these amazons six by fifty privacy screen fence fence meshing okay you put this over um chain link fence so you can't see through it all right, we're gonna come over here. We've got an LED ceiling light. It's like just a flat, yeah, just a flat light like that. Dip powder kit, Azure Beauty. So let's see what this is. You want a dip powder kit, is Leah? Oh, for nails. Nails. Okay. Okay, so it's like a whole little little nail kit right here. So that's pretty good. I don't know. I ain't. I don't know what's in here. There's a little pump sprayer. I mean, some of the stuff, you know, it's been open and not really 100% on the condition, but a lot of the stuff you can tell when you open up, the people just open the box and it wasn't what they were expecting because everything will still be wrapped up brand new. But yeah, stuff like this isn't really that good to get right here, like these pool filters. Whole box of six of them, though. What is this? Um bug zapper Bahiko what is this Bahiko it's got like a hook and some rope oh it's a hose oh okay I see it's one of those little you know expandable hose and this right here is a little thing you'd hang on the wall and you'd hang the hose on Here's a whole set. 20 all-purpose power scrubber cleaning kit. Little cleaning brushes and stuff that'll go on. All these will fit onto a drill. What this is, looks like there might be, I don't know if this is the same as that. Same size box, but I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, we got two pieces of wood. I told you you get some weird stuff sometimes. No idea what that is. Some screws. So a lot of times there's like some paperwork there and you can see what it's supposed to be, but that one, not the case. Okay, these are little solar lights that like you'd put on the top of a post, like out on your deck or something. Two pack. plant stand and you'll get like little small furniture type items like this that are just unassembled. Thinking sometimes people like open it up and they realize they have to put it together. And then they're like, oh, never mind. See it's got a little picture of it right there. And that's pretty basic, just two pieces and that screws together. Waterproof shoe covers. What is this? It's kind of hard to reach over this. This is oh, this is like a pressure washer hose. So as you can see, just you never know what you're gonna get in these light bulbs, some kind of a cover, either a grill cover or like patio furniture cover. I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the side of this pallet so I can reach down in here. What in the world? Whoa. Okay, that one's that's falling out. I'm gonna have to cut a hole in here so I can reach down in there. You definitely get some mystery items on the Amazon pallets in just a box. No markings on it at all. Oh, look at this. King LED grow light for plants. Looks pretty nice. Yep, look at that. Vegetable bloom. Looks pretty good. Outdoor wall light. And look, another mystery box. No markings on it. Yeah. Is it boxes? They're little boxes with dividers, okay. Carpet stair treads. You get a lot of really specific stuff, you know, that people order online on these pallets. Floating shelves. We'll open those up when we put them in the auction, but so that people can see. And you get some boxes that are just completely falling apart. What's this? Looks like just some like heavy duty shelf brackets. Well, 
that's what it is. And these are these can be very expensive. A lot of times these are like between ten and twenty dollars a piece because this is like a heavy, heavy metal in there. TV mount and then you get this kind of stuff it's got you know some kind of Asian writing and sometimes you'll get stuff even when you open it up it's hard to figure out what in the world it is so let's see what is from it's saying Asian because I don't know if it's Chinese Taiwan whatever the case is and if you don't have any paperwork in it like this it's like What is this? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? It's got a bunch of legs, but I only see one place that looks like a leg could screw in. I have no idea. Six foot, whatever it is. Here's another one. Oh, these are lights got the Chinese writing in it but it's three um, hanging pendant lights apparently all right I'll have to pull all that out and check on them but you can kind of get the picture right there by looking at that picture Let's get one more box out of here, see what we got. Bubble Bay. I do not know what Bubble Bay is. Some kind of brand name. A backpack? It feels like it feels really nice. It's a it's a backpack, but it's probably like for a laptop because it's really cushioned. Or is it multiple? Mm. No, nope, it's just one. But that's a very thick. Feels like a well-made backpack there. Bubble Bay. This box here. These are pretty cool. Four big ground stakes, and then they each have like a little strap with them. But they got a loop and then a strap. Dargin. Some kind of glass. What in the world? Oh, we got some casualties in here. But they're just little, kind of, almost like a gray tint glass candle holders. Just a lot of them are broke, so we'll have to just pull the good ones out. Chunk the broken ones. We've got a curling iron. And the box is like destroyed since this thing's already out we'll test it out but that looks like it may be a expensive one triple three curls at once i guess jbm some kind of exercise something in there it's like a guy running let's see Pads? Okay, pads, I guess, for like skateboarding, rollerblading, whatever. Yep. So, as you can see, anything and everything glass stuff, hair stuff, pads, LED lights, grow lights, you name it. Anything someone could possibly order from Amazon, you may get on here. What's in this Briggs and Stratton box here? Let's see. It's probably a part. Yep. Uh, <laughs> stuff like that can be definitely tough to sell you can put it on um look up the part number and probably put it on ebay led bulb with remote let's see do you think that they replaced the bulbs no yeah, yeah, looks like good bulbs there's the remote Either it didn't work, or they just didn't know how to use it, or the bulbs weren't the right size. No telling. 